All right, we're going to take a look at rounding. And you just watched another video and it gave you some other ways to round. Um, I'm going to go over the balloon method real quick. So for rounding this number to the tens place, the first thing we're going to do is underline the tens place. And directly behind that, we're going to draw a balloon. Okay. And then we're going to ask ourselves two questions. Is this number five and above or is it four and below? So this number is two, it's four and below. That means this number is going to pop. When it pops, there is nothing left in this balloon. This is the only spot that's going to change if it's four and below, is just the balloon. Everything behind it turns to zeros. Everything in front of that number stays the same. Now when we look at this number, we have 530 and we don't have any decimals here. So we can simply just write this number as 530. We don't need the decimal point or the zero at the end. All right, this number, we're going to round to the tenths place. So we've got our ones. That means this is our tenths. So we're going to underline the digit that we're rounding to, and we're going to draw our balloon around the digit that's directly behind that number. We're going to look at our balloon. We're going to ask ourselves the two questions. Is this number five and above, or is it four and below? It's four and below. So again, our, our balloon is going to pop. What's in there turns to zero, and that is the only thing that's going to change when it's four and below. Everything behind it turns to zeros. Everything in front of it stays the same. Now we have 34 and two tenths. We really don't need that zero, zero, so we can rewrite it 34 and two tenths. Okay, here's our next number. We're going to round this number to the ones place. So I'm going to underline the place value that I'm rounding to, and I'm going to do my balloon directly behind that. I'm going to ask myself two questions. Is this number five and above, or is it four and below? So this number is five and above, so there's two places that are going to change right away. So remember, the story goes that because it's above, it floats away. And it has this hook at the end, so it takes the six with it. So what's one more than six? Seven. Now everything behind this number is going to turn to zeros. Everything in front is going to stay the same. And I don't have anything here in my decimals, so I can just write this number as 37. All right, let's try this number now. Let's round to our tenths place again. So we're going to look at where our ones place is. And then our tenths place is directly behind that. So we're going to underline this digit and then put our balloon behind the digit behind that. And then we're going to ask ourselves the two questions. Five and above or four and below. In my balloon, I have a six, so I have five and above, which means my balloon is going to fly away. And when it leaves, it is going to take my underlined number with it. What's one more than five? Six. Everything behind this number turns to zeros. Everything in front of this number is going to stay the same. I do not need this zero here. So this number can be 64.6. Okay, we're going to have one last one. We have this number here. We're going to be rounding it to the ones place. So I'm going to underline the, the place value that I'm rounding to. And then I'm going to put my balloon around the one that's directly behind it. Ask myself the two questions. Is it five and above or is it four and under? Well, it's a six, so it's five and above which means this balloon is going to fly away. And when it leaves, it's going to take my nine with it. So what's one more than nine? 10. Well, in each place value, we can only fit one digit. We cannot fit a 10 here. 
So just as we're adding, we're going to take this one off of here and we're gonna piggyback it up onto the next guy. So we're gonna finish this off really quick. Everything behind turns to zero. And then right here, we have a five and a one, which means we have to add five plus one, six. And everything else in front of that stays the same. Now we can leave it as 360.0, but there's no reason to do this because we don't have any decimals here. So we can just write this as 360.